Gail Maureen, Kara Nelson, MTN Matchmaking, and I am with the very beautiful and the very talented Stacy, and we are here to spread more love. So how many people need love out there? Hmm? <laughs> how many people how many people need love? Because we're doing Facebook Live every day. So we can make sure at MTN Matchmaking, whether you're a client or not, whether you're a friend or not, just if you need love, even if you're married, if you need love with this horrific pandemic going on, especially today hearing the news, if anybody needs love, that's what we're here to do. We're spreading love. We have a lot of really nice um stories about love too hey brian what are you cooking brian stacy did you hang up hi sebastian oh looks like stacy lost us oh wait stace it's weird i don't know what happened they're, they're saying though that people's wi-fi's are really bad okay here she is um and then accept. Okay, you're on. Yay. Stacy's <laughs> back. Yay. Yay. Okay, so first of all, we, we don't want to talk about the news because that is just so way too depressing. We want to get away from the news and we want to talk about love, dating, and you might say to yourself, dating now? Is that even possible? Well, if anyone gets Newsday.com, you will see two articles of the fact that, yes, you can do dating now. In fact, I think people need, need love more than ever right now. And that's why we're doing the Facebook Live, because just say for whatever reason you can't become a client, that doesn't mean that you can't get love, right, Stace? Well, of course. And of course. it doesn't doesn't matter where you live. We don't care where you live. We are here to spread love. So, um, I guess let's start off with the first news day. Okay, so we, if anyone gets, I don't know. Oh, no, you know what? They said you don't have to belong to Newsday, okay? So if anybody just wants to go on newsday.com, you'll see two or you'll see, what is it even called? A segment that I did using two of our clients doing a virtual date, which they've gone out three times already. And that is the magic number at MTN Matchmaking. And they did it using virtual dating. We have this amazing game, right, Stace? Yes, yes. The reason why I'm laughing so much is because the millennials know all about this. So my brother Brian, who's on, he's the one that told me about this and said, wouldn't this be a great idea for your singles to, you know, uh, do for a date? So I mentioned it to Stacy. Now, Stacy's like me, even though she's 10 years younger, younger, she didn't know what it was at all, but her younger daughter already had it on the phone. So <laughs> then, of course, my two. <laughs> so then my two generation X's. Wait, am I generation X and their generation Z? All right, I'm just calling them millennials. The millennials. My two millennials, which one of them is up on the roof. And I have to tell you real fast, hopefully I can get back on topic. I decided something stupid that I was going to lay out on the roof next to Ryan. On the roof? On the roof. Brian, you almost got a phone call of a horrific disaster. Wait, is he working on the roof? Or he, he's yes. Some of the roof? Well, both. He's doing his classwork online on the roof with the sun. Okay, so I said, wow, I want to lay out. And I actually did lay out for an hour right before this. So I got a little bit of color. On the roof? Or the house? Oh, no, no, no. I tried on the roof, okay? Uh, Maureen, why would you 
I wanted to be with them. So I tried to get on the roof and I couldn't. First I got stuck oh. in the window. Then I stupidly brought out a blanket. Not, you know, a beach towel like he had because he's smart. A blanket. So the blanket is, um, it was very, it made me slide all over the place. So hey, Ed. So it had me slide down. Thank God I stopped at the bottom of the roof. Thank God. I thought Ryan was going to have a heart attack, and he just started screaming at me, get in the house, get in the house. So even though, and he said our neighbor who was out there mowing the lawn saw the whole thing. Now, we were going to do Facebook Live outside of my house today. I couldn't wait. It's beautiful out. But my neighbor is mowing the lawn, and he's been doing it for two hours. Oh my God! <laughs> so I couldn't say to him, "Hey, you know, could you stop?" I couldn't. But all right. So anyway, hey everybody! I'm so glad so many people tuned in. We have so much good, positive, fun stuff to get your mind off the news, which is just really, really, really bad today. So if if you haven't watched the news today, my advice is don't watch the news, but don't go out of the house either. Okay. And just don't ask why. Just don't go out of the house under any circumstances and don't watch the news. And just, <laughs> just don't leave your house, basically, is what they said. Okay, okay. So, But you can lay it in your backyard. You can lay on your roof if you're not, you know. <sighs> anyway, so... <laughs> oh, Ed, you are just the funniest thing. Okay, hi, everybody. Oh, I missed so many people up front. Let me try to go back. Oh, hi, Robert. Haven't seen you in a long time. Okay, let's see. Great. Wow, all these hottie guys. Hi, Tammy. Guys, Tammy's beautiful. Anyone? Oh, you guys can't see each other, right? Thanks, said, Yeah, you know what? I do think I got a sunburn yeah, I to me my face just looks like the sun is on it from my windows so I can't really tell but I I really think I did get something but anyway okay so I didn't get killed on the roof which I almost did so I another thing I'm advising do not try to lay out on your roof with your millennial because you're a cool mom because you're gonna end up not being a cool mom, almost killing yourself like me. And that makes millennials mad when they have to worry about you. So no roof laying out today. Uh, okay. I've never heard of this before. <laughs> I'm wondering if I should say this thing. I, I do not like pot, okay? But there were a few times I smoked pot. I smoked pot on my roofs once. But again, it was right outside my window, and I sat there, and I can't even tell you who I did it with. I can't even say that. Okay, but again, we're here for funny, happy stories. If anyone has any happy, fun topics, please let us know. Okay, so um, we did the first Newsday thing where they filmed us remote virtually, okay? So that was cool, and our clients that we match up, you could definitely see that they were compatible. So we're like, my God. Because again, remember, if people just want to talk to anybody, that's what the internet is for. But our clients, they don't want to talk to just anybody. They want to talk to someone who's already been screened and qualified, and that they know that they're already compatible. So. I think even the girl said it. You could definitely tell that these two were compatible because he would say something and she'd say, oh, me too, and blah, blah, blah. Okay. Then we, I get asked, do I want um, Newsday to come to my house so they can film me? Okay. So they could film me. So I'm like, oh, you know. Uh, 
you know, we're, we, Stacy and I are crazy busy. Today, I'm going to be on the phone with my accountant for probably three hours, okay? And that has nothing to do with matchmaking. So Stacy's taking all the appointments today. Um, one person is a colleague of mine. I'm going back on the Octavia. Okay, if people forgot two months ago, I got nice and slim because I was on the Octavia food and it was fantastic. But then something happened, I forget what it was. I think it was that my son came home from college so I had to buy food anyway. So when I was home alone and you know, when he, when this is all over, it'll be much easier, but I'm starting tomorrow. Anyway, so, so I haven't been on the Octavia. Now, everything I do is to the extreme. So I've been having ice cream every single night, birthday cake flavor, 48 grams of fat with a half a bottle of sprinkles every single night since this pandemic. God, how am I now 200 pounds? How? I, I don't get it. Okay. But I mean, I know the, the weight that I lost months ago, even in the first month, I lost 30 pounds. I need to back on. So, um, the reason why I'm going back on, and Brian, don't tell Jerry, is my sister. Um, I didn't even think my family would really watch my video. So news that came to the house, we had to do the six feet of separation, social distancing. Um, the questions were like a little odd. I, you know, I hate to say anything because, you know, it's so kind that news they called me not once, but twice in one week, would I do something for them? You know, that's super cool. So I said yes, and I thought I had a really great idea that I'd sit across the street on bleachers, but they wanted me to stand up. I don't feel comfortable, because what do you do with your hands when you're standing up? It almost feels fake, and I need to be natural with what I'm talking about. So I didn't really feel comfortable the whole time. Anyway, so I'm wondering, okay, will anybody in my family see it? Because when I saw it, I'm like, whoa, I gained back that weight so fast. So I spoke to my sister last night who called me fat. Okay, so. Oh, my goodness. I'll call you fat. I love my sister. I love her. I'm talking about Jerry. If it wasn't for Jerry, Maureen, you know. <laughs> if it wasn't for Jerry, Stacy would not be here. Stacy, you tell the story of how you tried to get in for months and I would never take your call because I'm always yes. busy. Tell the whole story. It's funny. Yeah. So I, I called and left message after message. I thought to myself, does anyone check this machine? I'm not getting I'm busy. I was busy. Everybody? <laughs> so finally one day I was blessed enough that Jerry picked up the phone. And, we and she never off. does. Jerry, we would have Suzanne at the time pick up the calls. Right. So Jerry picked up the phone and we hit it off and she told me you would call back. And now you tell your side of the story. I don't know what happened after I hung up with her. <laughs> okay. So of course I didn't call back, but I said to Jerry, since you're saying how great she is, you can call her back and just put her on speakerphone. So, uh, she does. And I'm like, Oh, wow. Well, she sounds like me actually. Every, and the more and more she's saying, she sounded like me. Okay. So, then she comes in for the interview. And the funniest thing, if this happened now, she would have the biggest lawsuit. And I hope there's no, um, well, what is that, the time limit? The, um, you know, when you kill someone, there's no time limit. What do you call that in law? Statue of limitations. OK, OK. So I hope I passed the statute of limitations because Stacy came in. And she was wearing a suit, great. And she has beautiful long hair, and everyone knows I'm a big advocate, everyone should have long hair. But she had it tied up in this big, tight bun. Okay, but in all fairness, would you want a professional interview? Of course, yes. Absolutely. Absolutely, she did the right thing. She, if you're going on an interview, people, 
do that. Wear a navy, if it's a conservative big company, corporate, wear a navy blue suit and have your hair up in a bun. Definitely. If you're coming to MTN matchmaking, it's a little bit different. So Stacey comes in with the bun and I go, you know, do you think you would mind taking your hair out of that bun? <laughs> <laughs> Why did she sue me? Why did she accept the job? <laughs> Seriously, it was because I hired her that day. Now, we have a policy at MTN Matchmaking because a lot of people want to get into this industry, but it's a very, it's way harder than people think. It's crazier than people think. And it takes a certain personality to be able to put up with it. I love it. It's my life. Stacy right. loves it. It's her life. Okay. Right. So I ended up hiring her right then and there. And the rest is just history. And okay. I never wore my hair up again. I'm That's <laughs> right. So she took it down and beautiful blonde flowing hair. I'm like, you hired. Okay. So my sister calls me fat. Now, Granted, she did not use the F-A-T word. I was going to say, she, she, I don't think she did. And Brian, do not blab this to Jerry, because I don't want Jerry feeling bad that she said does this. Does she watch Facebook Live? <laughs> no, Jerry's way too busy for Facebook Live, and if she does, I'll have a heart attack. And in fact, anyone else in my family, anyone who has access to Jerry, do not tell her I'm saying this, because I don't want it to get back to her. Because again, I don't want her to feel sad or whatever but okay so I spoke to Jerry last night and um, she I, I said did you see the video and she's like yeah boy wow you you got much bigger um, you're not eating that diet food anymore that's calling me fat that is calling me fat. So what I did was I threw, I had, I was going to say I threw out the ice cream. Of course I didn't. I ate my last ice cream and I called up my brother, Kevin, who is one of my um, enablers. Love him to death. And he, many, he will bring me over the ice cream. Again, the ice cream that I'm eating is 48 grams of fat with a half a bottle of sprinkles. And I'm having it every night. I used to just have it on matchmaking Mondays and Tuesdays when I send out the matches. Okay, so not doing that anymore. Well, we're losing track of days with being home and all fairness too, Maureen. <laughs> Monday's okay. a different day. Yes. Okay, so, when I mean, when I saw it, I noticed it. Oh my God, I gotta, gotta get back on that stuff. So I guess I was kind of extra sensitive because I guess in the back of my mind, I was wondering, is my sister going to notice? Is my sister going to bring it up? And then I thought, no. Why would my sister bring up that I look like I've gained all the weight back that I lost, right? No, that would never happen. It happened. So today I, am, I have an appointment to call the company to get back on that so in one month one month i will be down 30 pounds okay so and that again was the second newsday video but that was different because that wasn't newsday virtually this was they came to me with the cameras and so on and um it was cute because my neighbor in the backyard was walking his dog and like I was in the middle of saying something, so I felt bad, you know, like do, do I stop what I'm saying on camera and say hi to him? I, I didn't think that was professional. So basically kind of snubbed him, but I like him, you know, he's a great guy. So I hope he doesn't take it like that. Okay, anyway, let's get to a dating question because we got to spread some love. And again, if you have any ways you want to spread some love, let us know. Good, Stacey. 
Okay, question one. Maureen, I have been watching this for years, but I'm scared to pull the trigger. Any if she said, tells me, I've been watching you for years and you're fat, that's it. If she says that, we're no more MTN matchmaking. I've been watching you for years, but I'm scared to pull the trigger. Any advice you can give me to help me make that first call? Okay, I don't even know why I'm hesitating. Okay, when I started 19 years ago, and again, I have to get used to saying 19 years. Oh my, Stacey, guess what? It happened again with the, it's not moving. So there's so many comments that we didn't see in all this. Do you see it? Okay, I'm so sorry, everybody. I didn't, can you see it on your end, Stace? Oh my God, I have to go out and come back in. Okay, so. Como says so, yeah, not to go out, right, Ed? Yep. Hi, Maureen. Hi, Diana. Thank you for being a nurse. Hi, Noreen. Who's Charles? Hi, Charles. He wrote bullshit on the last ice cream. No, I admitted. I admitted I was going to say I threw it out, but I admitting I ate it. I don't see his, though. Hey, Joe, Asa. Oh, hey, Jenny. Jenny is super beautiful. Any chance you're single, Jenny? Because if you're single, I can literally match you up with my eyes closed. During this pandemic, you could do virtual dating, and you'll be so super happy. Excuse me? I got all new lipsticks because my brother Brian made fun of my lipstick that I was wearing for the past two weeks. Okay. Um, hi. Hey, Jim. Now, Jim, you're saying hi to Maureen and Maureen, but you should. Well, actually, Stacy is on, but she's um, doing something. When she comes back on, you should say hi to her because Stacy's my right-hand girl. Okay. Hello, hello. Oh, hi. Jim wants to say hi to you. Hi. <laughs> Jim is going to be doing our podcast, and we're going to be doing it on Friday's happy hour. And please tell me I could drink. That, that, that's my only caveat. I have to be able to drink. Okay. So let's see. All right. Thank you, everybody. Okay, great. So we have so many people tuning in. Again, we're going to answer questions, and if you have any dating coaching Questions, or if you just want to be cheered up, tell us, because there's a million things that I could just say off the top of my head that will cheer anybody up, and let me know. And just so you know, people do know that my two toes, they're basically broken, but they're, they're really two tumors in them, okay? And it's because of my broken foot, my fractured foot in three areas so it like ruined the way i was walking so again now it's um they're swollen i can't wear heels can't even put shoes on it's horrible oh and back to that newsday thing i couldn't wear heels even you know how when you wear heels it kind of slims you up i couldn't even get a heel on my foot stacy i still think you look great Oh, you're so silly, but thank you so much. Okay, so anyway, here's the mailman. Keep six foot away from me. You will get a karate kick. That's what I say when I go grocery shopping. But again, we could not go grocery shopping today or this week. Don't watch the news. I'm telling you what they said, and that's all you need to know. Okay, and if you know anything about Pearl Harbor, don't don't even think of Pearl Harbor this week. Okay, only positivity this week. In fact, Sunday in the Sunday News Day paper, you're going to see a full page Happy Easter from us at MTN Matchmaking. Okay. Um, can you read what Noreen says yet? Because she has a question. Oh, hang on. I have okay. to go back out and come back in because it's a lab. Because I'm not. Oh. Sorry. Okay. That's okay. I'll just. Question. 
Um, Do we get pickier as we get older, or is that wiser in our choices? Can okay. I answer that one? Just kidding. Yeah. Well, no. We <laughs> let's both answer it, okay? Because Stacy, as you're going to see, she is just like me. So I'll go first, and then Stacy will say what she says, okay? Because Stacy interviews, you know, everyone during this pandemic. How easy it is to be a part of MTM matchmaking. You have to pass the screening process, but all you have to do is call us, 516 and we're going to help. Right on the phone is how you're going to join. So you don't have to come. You can do this on the comfort of your own home. You can be naked. I don't care. In fact, I'll give anybody a discount that that does their interview, not FaceTime phone call. We don't want to see you, but if anyone has the nerve or the coolness to do it naked, I will give you a discount. What do you think about that, Stacey? Oh, my goodness. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, um, number one, when you're in your 20s, you can be as... Oh, hey, Kevin. How are you? Love, Kevin. I saw that picture of you on Facebook, man, of you playing a musical instrument, looking right into the camera. I'm like, oh my God, he, wow, he's hot. Tell your wife not to be mad at me, okay. So when you're in your 20s, you could be as effing picky as you want. The day you turn 30, and especially if you want kids, you don't have a type anymore. Nope, no type. If you're gonna have a type, then do it on your own. Go through the craziness of internet dating sites. Meet all the crazy wackos. Come back to me at 35, 35, and then I'll help you. But you remember, that means you wasted five years. Now, as we get older, so let's talk, say, 50 plus, okay? <sighs> Women lately, have been making the mistake and i think it's just because they've been so comfortable being alone that they have been getting pickier now it should obvious my answer is the obvious answer is the older you get the less picky you should be five must-haves that's all you should be looking for he or she oh good they have the five must-haves done i'll give them enough chances enough dates until i could see if there's chemistry done but women 50 plus oh and you can see a um a video i did just today on is that where you got it from by any chance noreen i did a video i think two years ago on dating after 55 so it's on my facebook mtn matchmaking Okay, um, <laughs> Maureen is so funny. Okay, so Stacy, it is now your turn to answer that question. Oh, well, I would say you covered 99% of what I was going to say. So um, I love her. Yeah, so I think that. It's exactly I like get, 10 years I'm sorry? Ago. Oh, no, I'm just talking about you, how great you are. Oh, thank you. I think as you get older, there's obviously lifestyle changes, and, and you're a little bit more set in your ways, you so that's look understandable. But it's when you become picky in non-important areas where I feel like it becomes a roadblock. And that's where I think having the five must-haves, like you're saying, is super important, because it's really narrowing down Ooh. what truly is essential and important to be compatible with oh. that person. Noreen, you are the cutest ever. You're asking me what your five must-have should be. So let me say that again. When people come to us, and the reason why we have over a thousand success stories and we just stop counting after then is because we have everything laid out for everybody. On the phone, we're going to tell you when you come in or now over the phone, when you have your virtual phone call or FaceTime, whatever you prefer, you get to think of what your five best qualities are 
And if you don't know it, ask your friend. Okay, so Noreen, that's what you'll do. You'll think of what your five best qualities are. Then you and only you need to think of what the five must-haves of the man that you want, the man that you're looking for. You get to pick five things. We can help you with that. If ever they're not realistic, we can't do it. But I'm sure you're going to be realistic. Now, to put a smile on everyone's face, because we're spreading love today, we want everyone to laugh. Remember, don't watch the news today. We want everyone laughing. Stacy, please tell us about the woman that I think called yesterday and you disqualified her over the phone. Yes, yeah, so that actually leads to one of our questions that came in as well. Oh. Hi, Maureen. I'm a successful woman and I look amazing for my age. I'm in my late 60s. Oh my God, this is her. This is the woman. I, I bet know. she's mad I, at you. She we didn't get a chance to check oh my gosh, Cece, this is because you interviewed her on the phone. So she's probably trying to get my opinion, thinking it might be different. Whereas I, everything I learned in matchmaking, I, I just taught, taught what, uh, tra trained. It sounds horrible. Um, gave all the information I learned to Stacy. And Stacy does it, and we, so we're both exactly the same in what we portray. Okay, so. So she wrote in, it's gotta be her. It's gotta be her. All right, tell me. And she's lucky I didn't speak to her on the phone. I, know. I kept thinking that. I am, I'm a successful woman, and I look amazing for my age. I'm in my late 60s. I really would prefer to date someone in their early 50s. Do you find this not to be realistic? Yeah. Not realistic. Um, in fact, if you remember, when you hung up, you told me that story. Hey, Pat. And I think this woman came to see me. I just remember that. Maybe like six months ago. Right. It, I remember it was a Saturday. Saturdays are crazy busy because it's every hour on the hour. No one else works in the building but me. None of the girls work. They all have the, well, you know, Stacy works from home. You know, so she's always working too. But you know what I mean, any office, which again, we're not in our office. We're banned from the office, everybody is. So we're doing the Facebook Live from my home every day just to cheer you up and to spread love, so. Please spread this to anyone that you know might be alone. Even if you think they would be a good candidate for MTM matchmaking or not, we're not doing it for clients. We're doing it to help people and to spread love. Okay, so about six months ago, I think it was my last person. So just picture having five appointments that are an hour and a half at least. Typically, someone might need more help, and just like at a, a good doctor's office, a good doctor will give you more time. Like, for example, my foot doctor, he is so good. He explains everything wrong with my toes, and he takes as much time as, much time as anybody. He sent me for a referral to a neurologist about my foot because he thought it was neurological. And that guy, as he's, he's asking me questions, as he's inputting his information. You know, like, remember, I guess years ago, they would just later, they would take notes, later give that to someone to transcribe, I think. I think what's happening now is they have to see more people, so they have to put their paperwork directly in the computer. I don't like that. The guy's not looking at me. I don't think he's listening to me very much, and he, I think he's making quick a quick diagnosis. Needless to say, I'm not going back to him. Anyway, so just like a doctor, sometimes people take longer, and sometimes I take longer. But for the most part, everyone appreciates that because they know if say if someone comes in widowed, you get all the time in your world in the world, and I will go out to the next person and I'll say. 
this person is widowed, do you mind? It, it probably will be a little longer. You know, just let me know what what you want to do. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So this woman, it was my last appointment for the day. I just realized I don't have earrings on or any jewelry. Oh, because I was laying out in the sun. Okay, so, and you know after this Facebook Live, I am going to be working out in the sun until I have to talk to my accountant. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's coming soon. I'm afraid to talk to my accountant. He's great, and he's a Facebook friend, so I got to watch it, but he scares me. He, well, maybe because I annoy him to death, but all right. So when this woman came in, a woman in her 60s walks in and starts, before we even get into the building. It's got to be the same one. It has like to the be. The second we got on the phone, she didn't want to waste time. She yeah. wanted to know she could date younger. Yeah. And I was just yeah. Like, okay yeah. So before we even got into the doors, she's like, I just want to tell you right now, I look great for my age. Now, my philosophy is don't ever tell a matchmaker you look great. It's my job to tell people if they look great or not, okay? Just say if someone has a um, couple of minor things that will make them look even better, that's my job to say it. So again, it is the worst mistake for anyone to tell a matchmaker how great they are. It, it's just, oh, hey, Sean, I just noticed it was you. Happy uh, belated birthday. Okay, so um, she's like, so as you can see, I don't look like I'm in my 60s. So I really want to date in my 50s. And I turned around before we even got to the door, and I said, look, you look like you look great. You look great in your 60s. So that means our men in their 60s, they have a – Really good benefit because in the outside world, if a guy looks great in his 60s, in the outside world, he can go down 20 years younger if he could find a gold digger. Okay, so a gold digger doesn't give a blank about someone's age. They want their money. We're not like that. We don't have gold diggers. They can't even afford our basic program. So... Our clients come to us for that reason because we don't have gold diggers. So I know in the outside world, guys that are in their 50s can get 30-year-olds. So this is why this woman is coming. Most of our clients are such great quality people that they're just so busy with their great jobs that they don't have time to do a search or where do they go. And they don't have time to waste going on a date that – Hey, that girl didn't show a realistic picture. That that girl looks is 10 years older than that picture. That girl lied to me. She said she was single, never married. And she has three kids. And she's 20. You know, whatever. So none of that nonsense happens here. So that's how most of our clients are. But remember, we don't take in everyone. So Stacy, like, do we have a million funny stories of people that we have not accepted or what? Yeah, we probably have to put it in a hat and pick it out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I said to her, you look great for your 60s. But our men that are in their 50s, they look great too. And on the outside world, if they didn't care about gold diggers, they can date 30-year-olds. But our guys don't want gold diggers. So because our guys look great in 50s or any age, all of our clients look great for their age. All of them. That's why you come to a private upscale matchmaker because you look too good for the people on the internet. You look too good for the people that are sitting on the bars at four in the morning. Go ahead. I What's say, the last time my phone rang and someone said, I look older than my age was never. <laughs> I love that. So, I mean, I almost want to finish their sentence when I see that's the direction it's going in. Let love me it. guess. You look good for your age. Um, <laughs> you, you, actually, I would recommend that you do do that. Here's our girl, Deandra. Hey. We matched her, and I 
married her as a wedding officiant. So, um, okay, so back to this lady really fast. So she, so I said, our guys in their 50s, they look great. Now in the outside world, they can get 30 year olds, but they're gold diggers, 20 years younger. Here, men come in and they know they can always go 10 years younger. And our girls are fine with that because they know, they see how great our guys look. They notice that, wow, I don't see guys like this on internet dating sites or, you know, they turn, whatever, you know, there's a million different things. But the point is, so because they look so great, the women are fine that women can go down five if they look fabulous, okay? But usually women want to date like maybe a few years younger, but up to 10 years older. Everybody knows that. I've been doing that for the past 19 years. And but I'm, she didn't even want to date her age. That was the best part. And that was the soul. What was disheartening to me is I try to explain, um, you know, really at, at any age, what should be the most important thing and what you're right, looking right. for in a person. That it's not about the number, especially at her age, it should be more about the substance of the character. Right. And it was just not, it, it, we, we were just, forget about being on separate pages. Her and I were at different novels. April, Mazuka. Oh, shouldn't mention the last names. Thank you. Okay, so, yes. You know what? I wish I had a client at that time, a guy that was 60, because she would have said, now that's the type of guy I want, a 50-year-old. Meanwhile, he looks, he's 60 and he looks great. So for him to date one of our 50-year-olds is normal, because, again, all of our clients look great. So, and you know what? How about men that are gold diggers? Oh, April, very good question. Men that are gold diggers will call up every once in a while and they'll say, do you have wealthy women? And then we say, now we have five different programs for people to join. Everyone now, because we're doing virtual dating, you could sign up right from home, just over the phone. People need love now more than ever. We have seen such an increase in people calling now for love. So we want to make sure we are doing the absolute best thing for every single, single person on Long Island. So we are offering the lowest prices. I'm taking a loss, okay? So that's another reason, I guess I should say, why I'm a little afraid to talk to my accountant because he's going to say, why are you discounting your prices? You're the only matchmaker on Long Island with 19 years experience, you know, that does hand-selected matches. You have 2,000 of the best singles, and I'm a fraction of what my fellow matchmakers are. So, you know, I'm an executive level certified matchmaker. There's a few of us in the country, and, but there's a lot of certified matchmakers. And they charge fifteen thousand dollars. If you go to a certified matchmaker, fifteen thousand, and they usually just charge the men. My my thought is, if you're a guy, you're getting a blank and gold digger. So, it, and young girls, if you want to go up thirty years to this big gross man that wants you as arm candy, that's the place to go not MTN matchmaking. So again, I've been doing this on Long Island for 19 years. I could literally do it in my sleep. Companies come and go every once in a while, but we stood the test of time. We've always adapted to different things. Different things happen. One day we'll talk about that, but for now, everything is just positive and happy and fun to make everybody laugh today. And if keep the questions coming, because those are really great questions. So with these men that are gold diggers, our, so we have five programs, okay? And remember, certified matchmakers, 15,000 and above. With us, we start typically at $995 for 20-year-olds. 
because we want it. Remember, everyone's financially stable. So people in their 20s, they have a great job. I Like my son, okay, he has a girlfriend, okay? But I know he has such a great job. He went to college. He's on his own in an apartment. He couldn't afford $1,000. So that's kind of like our check that we know the person comes from a good family. They don't want to do the internet, right? How many stories do we hear, Stacey, about how dangerous it is on the internet? Yeah. Okay, so my yeah. point is, because I want to hear DeAndre's question, but so I'm going to wrap this up by saying we are offering, and the highest program though, so a thousand normally up to what celebrities play. So we pay. We have a whole bunch of celebrities on Long Island that they know of someone that come in through referrals or they know about me through whatever. And they'll say, why are you so much less money when you're doing so much more? That's why I'm in this industry because of that. It's the greatest feeling in the world to hear that. Okay. So, but, so we know that type, that top program for celebrities is a lot of money. It's $6,500. Now, <laughs> the internet's dreadful. Noreen, you got to get into MTN. Okay, so with anyone, just say if they come in and they're creepy. Oh, we have a program, $6,500. And if you say that to anybody except a celebrity in two minutes, they're out the door, right? Stacey, how long would that take if that's what we started with? Forget it. It's, uh, it's, I have to use the bathroom. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Good, good. I almost took you literally for a second. Didn't get it. Okay, so that, that's what I said to the woman. I said, you know, our, we have celebrities. Do you know that? Because we have a $6,500 program. Now, I didn't tell her she had to pay sixty five. dollars And again, we don't take in everyone. I'm a private upscale matchmaking service. So I'm, I'm not under any obligation to take people. They have to pass a screening process. They cannot sell any records, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so when she heard that, she's like, oh, that's way too much money. And I'm like, okay, so why don't you charge, why don't you go into the matchmakers in the city? Because I know, I don't even think they take women above 50. And oh, no, I don't believe they do. And they're certainly not going to take on her. Unless they're going to take our money and just tell her what she wants to hear. Okay. But who knows? Anyway, we don't do that. So, Deandra, we'll give us your question. We love Deandra. As Deandra is, and Noreen, can you tell us what your craziest internet story is? Please. Okay, so Stacy, we're waiting on two questions, okay? Do you know my brother Brian? Brian, are you still on, by the way? Brian has already called up my sister and has said, Maureen is on Facebook Live telling people that you called her fat. No. I guarantee you he is. Okay, could you read De uh, Deandra's question? Yep, I have to jump off and jump back on. Oh, okay. Never mind. I'll put it on my phone. Just because there's a little bit That's of okay. play on my end. All right. So these are my old glasses that, um, you know, blah, 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 blah. Oh, the building? Well, re what, can I ask you a question? It's like the second question that you've asked regarding our business. Who? Deandra. So I'm just curious, because I, I love Deandra like she's my little sister. What Deandra's asking, when do you think your office will reopen? What, I'm just wondering, why do you want to know that? Only because we, are all, we haven't skipped a beat at MTN Matchmaking. We're all working from home. In fact, we're working more. We, my life has been working around the clock, spending any little time I can get with my son, and he's a millennial, so it's only to watch the news, and of course I have to watch his uh, crazy radical news. That's what happens when you send these millennials off to college, so I have to sit there and listen to it and bite my 
like literally bite my tongue and be like, oh my God, oh my God, I can't believe my son believes in this. Okay, so anyway, um, oh, Deandra. Okay, here's the answer. answer. I want to come. Oh, oh, I love you, Deandra. Oh my God. Deandra, you just made my day. You just, oh, are you pregnant? Oh my God. Are you, are you pregnant, Deandra? I have a feeling. You know, no. there is, yes, there's a little psychicness in me. You know, you know I interviewed her, right? Yes. And you know, I uh, was her wedding officiant and married, married her, right? <laughs> oh, my God. I think, I think, yeah. oh, okay, she's not. Oh. <gasps> Maybe you are. Maybe you don't it's know it. Okay, so now, okay, we will let you know. Um, as far as we know right now, that we got to get through this crisis and pandemic again do not watch the news today it is too scary it is too negative just watch positive facebook live we will keep you in the loop that you just can't go out don't go food shopping today this isn't the week to go out and do anything if you want to lay out in your backyard to get some sun today because it's beautiful you can do that if you're in your 40s or 50s and you want to lay out on your roof with your son because he's a millennial and you'll do anything to spend time with him don't do that that is too dangerous and you will get hurt because I, oh, I have another great question yes just Good. okay i can't wait to see you Deandra. i love you love you go ahead let's see okay now this one oh noreen's question is after too Woo! you want to do noreen's first I do a noreen's first and she's waiting and then i'll, and then I'll, I'll let you know this one just okay okay all right so we asked noreen if he can love you too um okay just a question for all of us that live on Long Island because today is beautiful out. I'm just trying to see if there's any tan lines. Um, how many people are either watching this or are going to lay out in the sun today as you're working from home? Like I'm assuming everyone's working from home because we work every day. Okay. Oh, no. Wait. Oh, no. I lost it because it was – do you see it now? Don't Don't go off it, but do you see it now? Thanks, Ken. Are you talking to me? Yeah. I miss Noreen's because it went down so fast. Don't go off, but do you see it right now? I, so I have a guy talking about himself. Is, is that the question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we asked, we asked Noreen, what was your worst internet date? And what did okay, she say? She, said that she was talking to a guy and he and the second side. He would keep saying things like what's your desire for love. So he'd be talking about himself. And oh, what the fuck? Oh, that was a Seinfeld episode. Noreen, did you see that Seinfeld episode? Oh my god, keep going. That was it. <laughs> that must have been really funny. Especially and Noreen, let me know. Did you see the Seinfeld episode? When I think it was um, the girl, I forget her name now because I haven't seen it in so long. It was her date that kept doing that. Oh, so funny. Oh my God, so funny. Hey, Ken. We love Ken. Okay. Okay, question. Yes. Okay, Maureen. Say that again. Sorry. Okay, so Susan wrote it. Maureen, I don't mean to play matchmaker, but I really dislike my son's girlfriend. For many reasons, should I number one intervene? Yes or no? And if yes, how? Ooh, tough one. Mm. Uh, God, I don't have that problem. Um, my son has a great girlfriend. Wonderful, wonderful. Love her. Um, okay, so I know from a matchmaker's perspective. Now, thank God, not from a personal one, okay? But from a matchmaker's perspective, if you say anything, it's, it's, well, 
son with a girlfriend? Yeah. Okay. He's going to do it more. And it's going to, hey, Becky and Boca! Yay! Becky and Boca are in the house. Peeps! Yay! Who's the hottest girl in Boca besides Stacy? Oh, stop it. Becky and Boca! <laughs> we love your show, Becky, and we can't wait. We did this grand opening in our Boca office, and then all of a sudden this pandemic happened. Ay, 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 crazy, right? Okay. Um, <laughs> um, okay, so, oh, we got more questions. Hold on a sec. Um, hi. <gasps> Ken, I need a lover who won't drive me crazy. That's a song, right? Right? Okay, so, Ken, give us an example. Oh, wait, back to Noreen. I didn't see the episode, but you loved it. <laughs> it's actually, oh, hi, Julie. Julie, you are another one that I just said. Julie, do you have a boyfriend? If you do, I'll shut up. If you don't, I can match you like this. And just so you know, MTN Matchmaking, we're up and running. We haven't skipped a beat. Everything is virtual dating. We have this really cool game. It, it's so much fun to date now. And again, I believe people need love more than ever now. And that's why we've been doing daily Facebook Lives, just to spread the love. If you know someone that is sad or lonely, send them, share this and hopefully it just brings a smile to their face because we're so goofy and we want to be goofy we don't want to be serious remember stay off the news today don't listen to the news um okay so julie for real i already know the guys in my head i i know them i just remember your ex-boyfriend that was a funny story i'll always remember that so could you just um, PM me and let me know if you're single? Because now is the best time to be a part of MTN Matchmaking because of what is going on. We want everyone to be able to save as much money as you need. And there's a program for anybody. As long as you're financially stable, but you're going to be going through hard times now, which Everyone is. We know that. We are making it doable for anyone financially stable. We will make it doable. Okay? I give you my word. So I hope you're single just because, well, I love you to death when we were angels together. Remember that? Um, but really, I have so many great guys for you. Okay. Um, Replying to Becky, Stacy, maybe we can get her on virtually. Oh, um, Becky, why don't we do that for tomorrow? Is that what, Stacy? Is that your question? Yeah, well, she had put maybe she has to get you back. She wants to get you on her show, so I said, well, maybe we can work it out virtually since no one's going. I don't think anyone's going there in person. It would be a great. Oh time. yeah maybe combine and do like a virtual live together. That would be so much fun. Or, yeah, and you can virtually be on our Facebook Live if you want. Do you want to do that? Let me know, okay? Oh, my God. I'm so nervous about talking to my accountant. Hope I don't get in trouble. I'm the worst at stuff. The worst. Okay. Um, oh, another great question. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so, hi, Maureen, my name is Natalie, I'm 35 years old, and I'm wondering, what is the difference between dating virtually with your program versus dating virtually on the internet? Thanks in advance. Oh, my God, that's the greatest question. Why has no one asked that question? That is absolutely the greatest question. Okay. So, say you're, it depends upon the person, Okay. If you're looking for a committed relationship, here's the internet. Here's MTN matchmaking. We both are virtual dating, okay? Both of us. 
So say you are wanting a committed relationship. You don't know if that other person is on the internet. They just might want a pen pal because their wife is in, the wife is boring them and she's in the next room or asleep. Okay, here all of our clients are looking for committed relationships. Say you're financially stable and you have a good job. Most likely no, because we've had people that have said to us, oh, um, yeah, better not be more than 200 bucks. Really? Really? We <laughs> you just, you just can't make this stuff up. So not financially stable for the most part, because we have found there's a 1% chance of finding someone at your level at, at all of our clients, okay? They're such great quality people. You have a 1% chance of finding that on the internet yourself. Okay, so all of our clients are financially stable. Um, now, you could be dating someone who got four on the internet. You could be dating someone who got four, uh, oh my, I'm just frightening like that. Four DWIs, or who beat his girlfriend because they got into a fight, okay? Felony record. You're never gonna find that here. Um, you, on the internet, you're going by a photo. That person might not look like that photo. Here, even though it's virtual, number one, we have 2,000 clients already, so we know what they look like. Number two, we're doing Facebook. We're doing the first part of the virtual dating, so we know what they look like. Okay. Um, just in case someone wants to on the internet say, let's just talk, which a lot that's been happening a lot. No. You want to be able to see what that person looks like. Okay. Um, and compatibility, my goodness. Yes. Oh, my God. Okay, so here you might just be going by looks. Now, here we have some of the best-looking people, the best, but inside and out, okay? It's beauty and brains here. All of our guys, they don't just say, oh, yeah, that girl's hot. They'll say, wow, she is beautiful and she's smart. That's why we love our guys because that's what they're looking for, beauty and brains. So you here on the internet, you just go by a person, what they look like. Here, we are making sure you're compatible in three ways. Now for a relationship to work and last, you have to be compatible and have chemistry. So we're doing the compatibility part and the chemistry, we're showing your photos ahead of time so you'll know if you think that person is good looking. So this way, when you do have your virtual date, you won't be like, oh, why did I do this? How do I get off the phone? That could happen on internet dating sites. Did anybody think of that? That you could be doing match.com because the guy looks hot and then you do your virtual date with him and he looks, he is 20 years older and frightening looking. Okay, now the guy has your phone number. Right, Stacey? Don't they need the phone number? Not quite sure about that. Stacey? I'm here. Do they need someone's phone number to do um, Facebook Live? Yeah. Right? Did you FaceTime me? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we would need to give the number after. No, they, no I mean, after. if someone on, if someone's doing internet dating and they're going to talk to someone on FaceTime, they're going to oh, need yeah, that I mean, person's phone number, right? I would imagine, yeah, the only way to FaceTime is someone. Okay, so now number. that creepy guy has your phone number. And guess what happens when you have someone's phone number? You could look up the address. So the, those are the differences, and what a great question that was what's the difference between virtual dating there and here but there's one more thing I forgot 
we have a really cool game that our clients are doing okay and we are it's called house party most people know what it is now just say if you don't know what it is we're going to help you with it and if you need stacy or i or any of us to get on that virtual date with you in the beginning to show you okay click on this click on the dice and it'll show you which games you can do i recommend that you do that hangman game because that is really really funny and every time i do it because we have to do it to practice make sure we're up on everything blah 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 that to me i was hysterical the trivia game yes that's great if you're really up on trivia and you want to impress the person but not everyone might not want that because there might be a little pressure there's no pressure on that hangman game so definitely do that and that's what we recommend so on the internet on match.com can you call out match.com and say you know i don't i'm new to dating and i'm talking to this guy i want to talk to this guy tonight on facetime how do i do that call up match.com call up plenty of fish and tell them you want them to help you is that good stacy yes it is <laughs> Okay, oh, we're missing some. So, Ken, Ken, yes, my song Maureen, match me into a physical distancing and social intimacy. Wait. Okay, that was his question. What did, uh, shoot, what did I ask Ken? Do you remember? Let's just click it again. Don't you asked if it was a song or something. That's all I remember. Did I say, what's your favorite song? Let me see. No, 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 you asked him because he made a comment. You asked if that was from a song, and he said yes. Oh, yes. I need a lover who won't drive me crazy. Yes. I know it was a song. Yes. Oh, that's your favorite song, I'm assuming. Match me. I'm into physical distancing and social intimacy. Okay. Now, um, we can do that. Single and loving. Looking for, okay, good. So, yes, we should talk, and um, we unfortunately can't do the barter situation because I belong to a barter group, so I'm all covered and you know with cards and stuff like that. And um, you know, this is an investment. Okay, even though I don't care which program you do, I'm going to give you a great, great discount, but you'll love the fact that girls are paying for this too so that shows that they're invested in this no one wants to get hurt at any of our ages here no one wants to get hurt the odds of getting hurt on the internet huge right you have no idea who you're talking to what if the guy all of a sudden his wife comes in the room catches him you're never going to hear back from that guy you're gonna be ghosted. That doesn't happen at MTN Matchmaking because we are on top of everything. Now, I just thought of something today. After you do your, you'll be doing the appointment, Stacey. I'm um, just talking to my attorney. I also have to. Every Monday, we are giving our clients a Monday newsletter just to keep all of our clients happy and in the loop and letting them know all the new exciting things that we are doing because again oh hello favorite cousin maria you are just the nicest i i was just saying to ryan i think it was friday you were on too and i said oh, isn't she just the best and i was saying about aunt carol and how aunt carol was the best dressed lady ever and Ryan's like, yeah, yeah, I remember her. And it made me happy because I I don't know if he remembers her in person or just seeing photos of her that I had and me always saying how I loved Ann Carol. So, but thanks for tuning in. Okay, let's see what else we got, Stace. Yes, you need the number for tick face them. Okay, so now that lunatic crazy guy has your phone number. 
So now we right. can look up where you live. So now he knows where you live. You think he's going to be happy when you don't want to talk to him anymore? Because even though he's 20 years older and gross, he thinks you're perfect for him because you're 20 years younger and hot. You okay, gonna... I have a last question. Oh, right. Okay. Okay, last question is... Oh, but Ken, call us to join. We'll work out something great for you. And you call 516-444-2861. Okay, go ahead. Okay. My friend that recommended me to watch your Facebook page, as I have a bit of a habit of dating men that are narcissistic. I'm wondering if you can give me some signs that if I happen to meet someone on my own, I can recognize them six, uh, okay. six feet away. <clears throat> okay. Could I do that? Yes. Is it worth it, though? No. And I'll tell you why. Remember before I said I'm an executive level certified matchmaker, and there's a few of us in the country, but you'll find many certified matchmakers. Okay. Even more important than that, when I'm doing my matchmaking, and Stacy knows this because I, I taught her everything I know, I'm a former pharmaceutical rep, and that's where I learned all about human behavior. So we learned about narcissism. So can Stacy and I spot that when we're discussing with, say, a guy or even girls. There are women narcissists that have tried to get in the program out. We don't take on any narcissists. So um, I could give you some signs. For example, the guy is going to immediately put you on top of the pedestal right from the beginning, over the top. So you're going to feel like, oh, my God, I hit the jackpot. I've never felt better in my life. He made me feel so, so great, better than anyone's ever made me feel before in my life. Okay. What a narcissist will do, though, is once they have you on the pedestal, once you love them, and once they know that you love them, they start knocking you off that pedestal because they need the control. In the relationship they need to be the one that the world centers around not you okay so you had it for a month or however long it took you to fall in love with him but once he knows you love him you're done then you're going to let be left thinking oh my god did I do something wrong did I lose weight did I gain weight um, d d does he not like my hair now you know whatever it could be that's what they do and they start knocking you off the pedestal. Now, for you on the outside world, it's really hard for you to notice that other than if someone does put you way up high on the pedestal extremely, extremely quickly, okay? But the reason why I say I don't think it's going to work is because it's happened so many times to people because we do the same things over and over. The same patterns we do over and over and over and we don't realize it. So say you divorce your hus husband. Okay. The next guy that approaches you, because remember, we as women, we don't usually approach men. They approach us. Okay. So we're not picking men. They're picking us. So if they see across the room that you're a really sweet, kind person to a narcissist, you're doomed. He's going to spot you from across the room, and he's going to do everything he can to get you, okay? And he will get you because your first thought is, oh, wait, Maureen said he's going to put me on a pedestal, and this is the first night I met him. And he's already made me feel like a million bucks. Okay? It's not going to end there. Okay, if it ended there, then great. Kudos to you, and you won't have to worry. However, what happens is you'll go home, and you'll be in bed. You might be lonely. You might realize, oh, I wish the TV's on. I wish I could be with someone right now. And you're going to convince yourself in your mind, you know what? That can't be with every guy. 
uh, as much as Maureen is saying this, um, hold on a sec. As much as Maureen is saying this, it couldn't possibly happen again. Well, guess what? It does happen again, and it does happen over and over and over. So we can spot it because we're meeting with people. Excuse me a second. I just have to. Excuse me. I know this looks really crazy. I know it looks crazy, crazy. Okay. I'll tell you, ladies. It's easy. All right, thanks. So don't think that all of a sudden you're going to be able to be strong enough to see that someone's a narcissist. Okay. Just trust in the knowledge that. There is a place that knows how to spot narcissists. I know how to kick them out. We don't make them clients. So here, you're only going to meet great quality people who are emotionally stable, financially stable, and looking for a committed relationship. Okay? So does anybody else need any love? If anybody needs more love, we're here. If if we've given enough love, oh my God, we've gone over an hour, an hour and 15 minutes, then tune in tomorrow at 2.30 so we could spread more love. Again, if you know someone who's lonely, who, does, who isn't fortunate enough to have a millennial that is home from college, um, which I have to say, it does make me super, super happy having him home. Um, and, okay, so if you wanted to see those two videos that Newsday did on MTN Matchmaking, you can look up newsday.com to see that. Hopefully you like it. Um, hopefully my brother didn't tell my sister what I said, which I'm sure he will. So once I hang up, my sister's going to call me. And um, maybe Stacy, maybe you could take that call. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and how much time do I have before my attorney? Because I really want to lay out and get more color. I love the fact I was only out for an, an hour, and that was my meditation. So it felt great. So again, lastly, Stacy and I are going to be with you all every day to spread love. If anyone needs love, you let us know. If anyone has dating coaching, uh, I'm sorry. If anyone has dating questions, let us know. We are here to put a smile on your face and nothing else and answer your questions. And today, I have to say, was a lot of fun. Peter, oh my gosh. Yes, I, oh, I forget how we know you. I think I know. But um, contact us if you need to. Hey, Tony, um, all of you, you are all amazing today. It was lots of fun. And DeAndre, you're the best. That was like super funny. I mean, like, why are you always asking that question? So we will all see you tomorrow at 2.30. Everyone spread the love because there's so much scariness out there. And we will always do our best to make you happy and make you smile. Okay, Stacy, would you like to add anything into this? Just be safe, be happy, spread love, see you tomorrow. Okay, so God bless, and we'd love